What's going on, guys and gals of YouTube? It's Anthony of the Primal Crew. Where, where else would I be? Um, I am recording this a little bit before uh, me and my girlfriend and Jerry actually get to our destination. Um, as I'm watching the Pokemon Evolutionaries right now. If you can hear that in the background, I'll probably let me lower that a little bit. Um, but today is, it is Saturday uh, at the time of this recording, and we will be heading over to our local mall, Saramani, for the Cards and Collectible Show. Uh, and we are looking, well, I'm looking to show you guys exactly what this Cards and Collectible Show is all about. You guys probably have it at your local malls. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, a gathering of collectors and resellers and all those people that wake up at the butt crack of dawn to go to, like, Target stores, Walmarts, Kmarts, what have you, to get variants of certain things like Hot Wheels, uh, action figures, video game systems, what have you, uh, and try and resell them for more than what they're actually worth. Um, and obviously my goal, I'm going in there for Pokemon stuff. I'm looking for sealed booster packs, blisters, they have boxes, uh, any singles that I may be looking for. Uh, if I didn't mention this in any of the videos, I may have mentioned it in a video that's going up later today, actually, on Saturday. Uh, I am looking for uh, full art trainers. Uh, I kind of want to try and collect all of them. It's going to be really difficult, especially with the older ones from the Black and White series. And is going to be really, really expensive if I really want to pursue that. But we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, when we actually get to the mall itself, I'll probably uh, just have the recording going. Uh, just showing what's going on inside the actual uh, mall for activity and what have you. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And, uh, yeah, you'll see the montage very soon. been around like the tables a whole bunch of times and there's kind of disappointed there's not as many as I thought there was going to be this year I mean I could be wrong maybe they're just in different locations um, I did get some good stuff though and I will do a recap of that a little bit later but I'm gonna just take another look around just to see if there's anything else you know missing that you know I may have overlooked or that I didn't see at the first time because they just don't so we'll see 
So instead of going straight home after the card show, we came here to David Buster's, uh, me and my girlfriend. She doesn't want to be on camera, so that's uh, kind of a thing. And uh, Jerry wasn't able to meet up with us, so yeah. But uh, yeah, we're just eating here. We played a little bit of game. If I win another booster box from here, I'll show it to you guys uh, with a recap of everything. Uh, otherwise, yeah, uh, see you in a little bit then. Oh wait, I got my boot. Uh So, yeah, like I said, it really wasn't too special of a day at this card shop. I was a little disappointed. Uh, if I didn't mention it when I was in Dave & Buster's, one of my normal uh, vendors that's there, or one of my normal table people that are normally there, uh, wasn't here this weekend. I'm not sure if he's going to be there tomorrow. If he is, I might, you know, record that. Most likely not. Uh, but I will show you guys uh, what, I did that, what I did happen to pick up. Uh, the first thing are these 6x9 top loaders. And literally I got a pack of like 36 for like 12 or $13. Which is not bad considering they're going to be for all the oversized cards. Uh, like, if I can reach it. Like the giant Arcanine break here that you see. So that way I can sleeve those up instead of just having them inside a binder the entire time. Uh, I got four packs of top loaders, uh, and the cool thing about these top loaders is it actually comes with the uh, little penny sleeves as well. So I got their packs of 25 each, uh, so I got 100 top loaders and 100 penny sleeves, so that's not a bad deal at all. Uh, as for single cards, there were a lot of them that were really, really, you know, how should I put this, um, stupid. Like, there was a guy who had a first edition, what looked to be near mint to mint condition, uh, Shining Gyarados. He was asking $80 for it. I don't think it's ever been worth that much. Uh, and he goes based off of eBay prices. And that's one thing you, you got to look out for when you go to these card shows, because they go based off of eBay prices. And they think people are actually going to spend that much on it. I mean, unless you're a hardcore collector and it's one that you're missing, okay, I can understand, but not here. Uh, so a single card that I picked up, this is actually going to be for a friend of mine, two bucks, a, I believe this is a reverse hollow, uh, Latios, or Latias, excuse me. So, yeah, picked that up for two bucks. Uh, and then I picked up a Misty's Determination Full Art. And the reason I picked it up is because the guy was originally asking ten bucks for it. Uh, started to talk him down to, like, five, because it's not really that expensive anymore. He was asking eight, talked him down to six, he sold it to me for six. So, boom, to the collection. For those of you that don't know, I am trying to collect all the full art trainers again, which is going to be difficult, but... And then, I feel like this was a pretty pretty big steal of a price. Now, if I had more money, obviously I would have bought more of these, which I did, but... Eh. Sorry about that, that was my sister. Um, but yeah, I picked up a... First edition pack of Jungle. Now, don't know what I'm going to do with this. Obviously, you know, it's something that should be open for a special occasion. And I'll be holding on to this for a little bit of time. That was 20 bucks, And like I said, that's a steal of a price for a first edition pack like that. And the big money thing that I picked up, it cost $115. I don't know if that's too much or too little. Considering the set, a sealed box of Roaring Skies. 
I'm so excited to do this. He had three of them. I was tempted to buy all three, but I thought about it. Don't need all three at the moment because I possibly have two in trade. Don't know if that's going to happen or not. But yeah, this is the first time I'm actually opening a booster box of this, and it's going to be for you guys. And it actually goes with the collection of boxes. Let me just fix this over here really quick. It goes with the collection of boxes that I have right here. As you can see, we've got Breakthrough, Fates Collide, Fates Collide being one of the worst, The Roaring Skies, another Steam Siege down here, and two Evolutions. Now, technically, I have three Evolutions booster boxes, but that's only because one of them is being kept sealed here. Probably not going to be open for a while. And with that are all the sealed Mythical collections as well. Each one of them is 100% completely sealed. So, that was the card show. Nothing too special, like I said again, guys. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to thumbs up down below. If you don't like it for whatever reason, go ahead and thumbs down. But let me know why. Don't just dislike the video. And above all else, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great TCG. Let's play another random videos like this. But I will see you guys in the next one. Anthony, Primal Crew, take it easy.